Hi, I'm Sharon Mason and I am a quantum healing hypnosis and entity release practitioner. And uh, I often encounter people who are not really sure what entity release is. So I'm here today just to talk a little bit about entity release and how do you know if you have an entity or you need entity release? Of course, most people don't realise that our body is composed of energy. We have an energy body. It's not just what seems to be physical. Physical matter is basically just energy, which is vibrating at a very, very low frequency. It just appears to be physical matter, but we're actually all made up of energy. We have an energy body called an aura. And when this aura is impacted or fractured, it allows the attachment of what we would call energy parasites or entities now, these entities can be anything from um, sort of dark, demonic entities that you might have already heard about when we talk about things like spirit possession. They could also be um, extraterrestrial entities. They can be uh, artificial intelligence. They can be earthbound spirits. So sometimes when a human dies, they don't know where to go. They don't know that they need to go back to the light they can sometimes just attach to somebody who's just walking past or a member of the emergency services or just somebody who they feel a, a, a resonance with. And they'll attach to this person and this person won't know that they've had uh, an, an entity attached to them. So what you may not know is that around 70% of the world's population actually have entity attachments without their knowledge. Now, that's a pretty scary figure. How do you know if you've got an entity attachment? Well, you can take my entity attachment quiz. The link is below and you can see whether or not you have an entity attachment. So what are the symptoms of entity attachment? Well, there's a lot of different symptoms. So you could have any of the following. Feeling out of control, a lack of energy, chronic conditions such as chronic fatigue, brain fog, anxiety, depression, mood swings, terrible tempers, low confidence or low self-esteem, sudden changes in behaviour or personality, having addictions such as alcohol, drugs or pornography, having thoughts of self-harm or suicide, feeling upset for no reason, having eating disorders such as bulimia, acquiring a new taste for something completely out of the blue, sleep disturbances, nightmares, sleepwalking, blacking out, and paranormal disturbances in your home. So if you have any of these symptoms, you may want to take my entity quiz below. Do I have an entity? So the link is below in the description. So how is it that these entities can attach? Well, it's usually due to some form of trauma. So, for example, if you've had a really bad experience in your childhood, if you've had some kind of really terrible childhood trauma like physical abuse, bullying, sexual abuse, mental abuse, um, if you didn't have a very good connection with your parents, if you were very badly injured as a child, um, any kind of a really emotional trauma can lead to entity attachment. Um, injury, pain, if you've had a, a car accident, anything like that, and you've um, been to hospital for uh, any kind of injury, again, these are places where you can easily attract entities Entities basically attach when the aura or the energy field of the body is compromised somehow. So why do these entities attach? Well, they attach because they want to siphon off your energy. So these darker beings, usually things like demons, dark entities, basically just want to siphon your energy for themselves. They feed off your energy. When we experience negative emotions, we bring ourselves down to the 
what's known as the, the vibration or the frequency of these low frequency darker beings and it allows them to attach to our energy fields now these darker beings they want to keep you in a negative energy state because that's what them and their masters feed from so they want to keep you in that that sadness that depression that anger those all those negative feelings that you feel sometimes and you just you've had a bad day or someone's triggered you that's the emotion that these these dark entities are trying to feed off you, you can also get earthbound spirits who will attach and that's someone who has died and they haven't gone to the lights so that can be any number of different reasons it could be that they are afraid to go to the light they're afraid of judgment they've done something in life that they're ashamed of it could be that they're just a child and that they have no idea that they need to go to the light or it could be someone who's died through addiction and they want to attach to somebody so that they can keep um reliving that addiction so they'll attach to somebody for example who um, likes alcohol so if they're an alcoholic they'll attach to someone who will continue that that drinking and feeding that addiction for them so what we do as soul center healing practitioners and uh, quantum healing hypnosis practitioners is we free off these uh, energy parasites and we free them off compassionately as long as they agree to go to the light now some of them don't agree some of them for example like some demonic entities they just refuse to go to the light and they will have none of it when you try to talk them over to the light they'll have none of it and they will insist that they're staying so in the cases of those they are sent back to their masters uh, and in the cases of the ones who agree to go to the light we send them compassionately to the light where they are healed so how do you protect yourself from getting entity attachments well myself and my colleague in quantum healing debbie anderson have done a video about this which i've posted in the links below and i'll also shortly be releasing a booklet on protection myself so keep an eye on my website also listed below and these protection methods will help to keep your energy safe from attachments but if you think that you might have an attachment I have a quiz, again, linked below that you can try out, see whether or not you have an attachment. It will tell you. If you find that you do have entities and you'd like to get them cleared, then please get in contact with me through my website, which is also linked below and on the screen now. And I promise to help you clear the entities and teach you how you can protect yourself. So until next time, take care, protect yourself and goodbye.